hope I have enough video for this or audio for this because it's really about my audio. My video is awesome. Um, this morning, oh, scary. I was going up on the Markham Bridge and a spare tire came across the road. And luckily I saw it and it was kind of dark. I guess, you know, the sun's coming out, popping out of the clouds and it's a five, yeah, it's five, so speed limit doesn't matter in school zone right now. I mean, it's 25 here, but still. Um, so I, was, I just barely missed that spare tire. So lucky. And to be honest, I wasn't even that scared. I just kept it cool and I just zoomed around it. And got out of there safely. I, I and I got to thinking to myself. I was like, so why is it that I wasn't as scared as I've been before when situations come up like that? And first off, it's happened quite a few times where there's just like debris in the road and you just have to try to go around it. And so you get that. already uh, in your system. And uh, you don't care as much. And I was like, well, not really. Any kind of object can stop you. I could have hit it on the side. I would have gone flipping over my bike. You know, in a, in a position like that, you don't want to slam on your brakes. There was just no time to stop. You know, it's freeway speed, 60 miles an hour. And yeah. So I live to ride another day. And all my friends were like, okay, you gotta stay alive for your wedding day, you know? And I'm like, I'll be okay, guys. Just gotta watch out for the other people on the road. And every time I go on a long ride, a long distance, I always make sure that I say a prayer. Any prayer, it doesn't matter. And believe me, those prayers have gotten me out of some tough times. I've had a couple close calls, and I like to always say them. And I'm thankful for those. That it wasn't worse, or I didn't get in an accident because of them. But you just always gotta gotta keep your head on a swivel guys and always be paying attention always I can pretty much predict now when a car like that I should have I was in the wrong side of the lane see the, the car couldn't see me if I was over here he would have been able to see me but that was my fault sorry I could pretty much predict when a car is gonna might swerve into my road lane or you know make a left-hand turn we have a whole bunch of these turn lights now that instead of just green or red, they have a flashing orange, which uh, means if you, you have, if there is 
aren't any cars coming, and if it's open and it's safe to go, you can do. You can turn left. And it was, it was the first thing that, in my mind, I was like, well, this is really bad because not a lot of people are going to know what that flashing yellow means. A lot of times, even I've caught myself doing this where it was flashing orange or yellow or whatever the color is. Um, and I actually was about to go turning and then realized there's a car in the opposite direction coming up. It was, I think it was around a slight, co slight corner. So I wasn't really paying attention. I was just paying attention to the light and uh, I caught myself off guard at that point. But a lot of times people will just go thinking they can make it and that's, that's how a lot of accidents happen, at least with sport bikes or motorcycles in general. So. Gotta be careful out there. If a guy is weaving in his lane or or anything uh, during the middle of the day, it's I at night it's probably gonna be because they're drunk. But if it's in the middle of the day, they're probably on their cell phone, eating food maybe, oh, anything that'll get you distracted. And usually when I look over, that's that's what they're doing. Eating a bagel, reading a newspaper. Yes, I've seen it happen before.